Hello and welcome to another episode of Dick Small Engines. Now in front of me you can see a 3 horsepower Briggs & Stratton flathead engine with a horizontal shaft or horizontal crank. Now we're going to have a little look at lapping the valves you can see in front of me and see how we'll go about that. So in order to access the valves we have to remove, which I've already took the liberty of doing, this cover here, which acts as a breather, sort of a crankcase breather. You can see the hole there, which acts as your breather for the combustion chamber. You've got your two valve sums there, your exhaust and your intake valves which are held in place by the springs and these valve keepers or valve retainers. I've already took the liberty of removing these. I've also took the liberty of cleaning up to the best I can around the head where the head gasket sits, obviously piston intake exhaust valve. So we'll now have a look at lapping these valves. Right, so first valve we're gonna look at is the intake. I've already took the liberty of cleaning the deposits up off of the stem. And the valve itself, because it was heavily carbon, carboned up, should we say. Now the purpose of getting your valve to seat and sit correctly or to prevent low compression or a misfire. I mean, this valve, certainly the intake valve, isn't too bad. What you're looking to do is remove any pitting around where the valve is going to seat. So how we do that is, I've got some Arbo grinding paste. In this case, I've got a, a fine grit and a coarse grit. I'm going to use the fine grit to start with. So all you want to do is get a bit of the paste on your pinky. Well, I'm using my pinky anyway. You don't want to be liberal with this at all. Work it round the valve, the head, the head of the valve where it's going to seat. Touch also around your seat. Again, I'm using my pink gun. Don't want a lot. Don't be liberal at all. Because you don't want any getting in the valve chamber. I'm probably putting a bit too much in there. So I've got some round that the under, underside of the valve, intake valve head, a bit round the seat, on the top of the, the head itself. Get your little valve lapping tool. I'm gonna to use the smallest end, like so. Get a bit of suction on there. Let's slide in a bit on that. Let's wipe a bit of the, the paste off. Off the head itself. I 
let's show the bigger end. It's better. So you can hear that now. Working that pipe. work the paste round not applying any more paste because there's an adequate amount of paste that was already applied work it round again with your finger drop the valve back in on the stem, get that bit of suction again and then keep working the valve so all around no so try and try lift it up a bit so you can see what I'm doing working it round you can hear that paste working its way around the seat Just trying to iron out any any potential pitting, so that valve seats as it should. So ultimately trying to avoid any low compression misfire on our engine. It's taken out. Let's have a butcher's. I'll just remove that, walk that paste away for now, so we can we can see sort of exactly what we're looking at. So we'll have a look at that first. Looks good to me, I can't. I can't see any obvious pitching. I mean, this machine is probably 34 years old. It's 40 years old. It's just like I said before, you don't want to get any of the paste. Inside the housing. Just to avoid any. We'll get the blue roll in there. Man, I'm just going to... So that's the intake. I'll put you on a bit of time lapse. We'll do the exhaust. And uh, we'll have a butcher. Right. So the exhaust valve here. I'm not so fussed about the carbon. Can give that a good clean up after but what I'm looking for is no obvious pissing which as doesn't appear to be there the seat itself on the exhaust valve feels relatively smooth although it doesn't look it you know you'll have to tell me whatever it, it does intake valve again 
no obvious pissing or abnormalities. I will give it another clean, but the purpose of this is to show how I lap valves, intake seat is about as good as it can be. So there you go, Briggs flattered in this case, horizontal shaft or horizontal crank, same could be applied for any horizontal or vertical crank flattered engine when lapping your, your intake and exhaust valve. So there you have it, if you like this video give us a like, share, subscribe until the next one. Take care, turn off and out.